Who's on the sun? We've all got here. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the end. I might just make it to the end if I'm lucky. I could do it that way. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Honestly, I think I'll look to make that. Come on, place the torch. Place the torch. There we go. God's sake, how hard was that to do? How does swimming and going and keeping hold of X? How does swimming up and keeping hold of X go slower than just keeping hold of X? Great, what's the big section already? And another piece. You know what, I'll fix it all when it comes to it. How are you there? Can you, longer be can you no longer be pushed? Is that what it is? Okay.
Go away, Squid. I couldn't give two dams about you right now. How did I build it like scaffolding, man? How ridiculous. Why am I missing a block of sand? Why in the hell am I missing a block of sand? all up again because we have no flying machines on this game or if we do the overly complicated for no apparent reason
That's absorbing a lot of my materials at the moment, that's what it is. This chasm is absorbing a lot of materials. Clear more, more sand out. What's well, nice feeling? I could just do this, really. Nope. All the ones that I did. All the ones that I did. Okay. Oh, that's the hero. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm just keep digging down. The last one, trailer. Sun focus, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your time here. Not the I'm not the best stream in the world, nor do I What's making me float? Whee <laughs> Okay, I'm not the best stream in the world, nor do I claim to be. So hope you do enjoy your time here, whatever time that I may be. Please do leave a follow do please do follow. Um a moment. I'm just clearing out this ocean monument. So, I don't know what to build after this. Any ideas? I mean, I've got a little house that I go back and forth for little bits of resources like food, um, bamboo, that sort of thing, but not much though. Mm, XP farm doesn't sound bad. Again, I'm floating. I don't know what's doing that. XP farm doesn't sound bad to be fair. Just have that dead smack in the centre of it. Just so I can get a bunch of XP from him. Not a bad idea. Not sure how it will work on bedrock, but not a bad idea. But yeah. Let's see where it goes for a moment. Yep, I wanted to clear that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I should really be using a shovel for this. <laughs> but I left all my shovels back at base. I think. Is it worth using a shovel when you can just use a torch? Uh, I just need to clear out the bottom layer. Damn it, really? Play that out in a bit. I don't know what's making for what. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm new to Bedrock as well, dude. I got switched over when PlayStation did. I mean, I played on Java a bit, but that's my, the extent of my Minecraft. That was kind of, fun, kind of fun to be fair. Especially with all the mods you can get on it. Not everyone likes mods, I get that. Some people just like to play with vanilla like this. But yeah. If the mods are balanced properly, they can ex enhance the experience, not ruin it. Like that. That's what I think anyway. I'll completely change the game. Oh. 
Eh, in some respects it is, in others not. Um, I mean, the PlayStation Edition did have a lot more, how should I put this, stable redstone me mechanics. Yes, it, there was funny bits, like, but even in Java there's funny bits to do with redstone. Anyway, um, and in Bedrock it's just, oh, this don't work. By the way, this now works. This don't work. Now it works. This does work. Now it don't. It's kind of guesswork about whether some will work or not. Which is stupid. Because if you have to put guesswork in some, it's not really working. And that just makes the whole experience sour. Granted, we don't have, Im we don't have immovable blocks, which does help because we can push and pull furnaces and chests all we want but that don't make up for the fact that the um well it don't make up for the fact that the how should i say it random um redstone mechanics of it and all the farms are different on this so it's like you've got really What's a guardian doing there? Nope. Go away, guardian. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> mob roots and spawns and stuff. Yeah, but if you're not really doing it for mobs, then it's kind of meh. Controls, for me, the controls seem a bit... I don't know if this is weird, but they seem a bit floaty. It's just, I can swipe the camera and it, it stops a few seconds after I stop moving it. And it's... That's another thing that I don't like about it, which is, eh. I mean, I can list off a few things. Whoa! How are you here? Yes, I know you've got phones damage, but that doesn't matter because you're dead now. How did you survive that long? Anywho. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying it's not bad, it is fine, but for the for the people who were on PlayStation Edition and have moved over to Bedrock, it's a bit... I feel like some of them will enjoy it, but I think more people would have enjoyed had a, having a choice about whether to switch or not. I kind of guess that. <laughs> If I had the choice, I would have preferred to stick on the PlayStation 1 and still get the same updates. And I'm pretty sure a few people would have agreed with me. But obviously there will be people who are like, no, Bedrock, I find Bedrock a lot more fun. Which is understandable. To each their own sort of styles. And what the heck is make, making me float over in that corner? That was what I was doing, I was getting sand. <laughs> totally forgot. I'm getting sand for this. Um, yeah, you can switch back, but you don't get the updates from it. So it's sort of like you either switch back and don't get the updates, so you're stuck on the previous version, or you switch to bedrock. It's not really a choice anymore, if you want to keep up to date, up to date on Minecraft. Which is ridiculous. I mean, I know the Xbox edition got an update recently, but I don't think PlayStation will be getting that. Which is stupid considering Xbox has been on Blooming Bedrock for a while. Why would that get an update and it PlayStation don't? But yeah, obviously, obviously I know you can switch back and forth as much as you want. 
but again, you don't get the updates, so it's kind of not a choice. If I'm wanting to play with bees, for example, that were added recently, I have to play on bedrock. If I'm wanting to build a redstone contraption, I would much prefer to play in PlayStation Edition, because it's closer to what the Java Edition is. And I can do it on that. But yeah. Oh, come on. The person sounds kind of a bit boring to be fair, but it has to be done at some point. I did, I did I do, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy Bedrock. It's fun in its own way. If the mechanics were a bit odd at first. Everything has its good points, I guess. The redstone does seem to be a lot more... I want to say reliable, but... Consistent, at least. At least I like to say that, but judging by that. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will be the last section you can push with this, to be honest. Then I'll have to move forward. Wait a minute, why am I doing that? Why am I going to get more sand? That's what I originally meant to do. Do 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 do. There we go. Nope. Nope, missed it. There we go. Got that one. And that, for example, just random about when it does it. There's no way of telling, oh, it's going to do it in about three blocks across and two blocks up. No, it's just, by the way, now it's happened. Wait a minute, why am I doing it like that? Dunk. Again. If you wonder why I'm leaving this as a three, there's the same reason there, it's because there's water behind it at this current moment in time that I haven't managed to clear. Come on, there we go. Ow. Now to continue mining. So, oh, I could have been a butler. Go away, stupid llama. Now to continue mining this. There we go. Glad to see the torch method of like, getting sand still works though. That's a good point. Well, as if you can get it quick enough. Then sometimes it'll put out and land on top of the sand and not fun and work. Mm, that's true. But if you needed f more than 50 cows, it's like, oh, why do you need that much for? Saying that you. Yeah, what did you need more than 50 cows for? I mean, the worst thing you had were books. Well, at that point, you'd breed 25, you'd kill 25 of them, breed the 25, then kill the last 25, and just wait for the next 25 to up, you'd have at least 20 either. Oh, at least 20 either. Um, and 
that way you've got a pretty much infinite supply of leather. And you've got milk still. So it's like, what do you need more than 50 for? It's not like the same thing with current iteration of sheep. You need wool? Okay, you've got wool. If you're doing a massive project, then you need a lot of... There it goes again. <laughs> that you need a lot of wool for. Ah, oh, for XP, yeah, that makes sense, actually. But still, it's the same thing. You have, tw you kill 25, get XP. Breed 25, get more XP, got 25 more to breed. And it's just a cycle of that. Actually, you can't breed 25, you'd have to be like 24, which is leaving on this. But then you'd be able to breed 26 later on. I don't, I don't know, there is some little discrepancies here and there, but... I don't see why it won't be possible and I need to go sleep now. Do, 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 do. I really need to find a quick way of getting out of here. <laughs> I mean, there's five beef and milk. That's good. I don't think you can get XP in real life, so... <laughs> That's all. I don't think that, that XP reason counts for that, but... <laughs> milk and... Pork chops. Those seem like two very good reasons for us to have cows. Wait, what do you, what can you really do with sheep for? You to get wool off them to make a bed. That's about it. You can't make armour out of it, you can't make clothing. Yeah, but then if a lightning bolt ever hits it, then it's highly unlikely, but if it ever does, it sets on fire and then the yeah, house burns down, so concrete just makes a lot better of an option to be fair. You get just as many colours, your house is safe from lightning strikes. And it, honestly I think Concrete looks a bit nicer than wool. Yeah, don't make that weird sound, that <coughs> sound when you mine it. Yeah, you could trade it with villagers. That's a good option. But then again, I need to find a villager first. <laughs> I have not found an entire village in through this thing. I've cleared an entire map. Well, big map. In this one you get a small map, bigger map.